here is the Writer's Almanac for Thursday. It's the 20th of January, 2022. It's the birthday of the man who gave us the song The Rock Island Line and the Midnight Special, Shine Its Light on Me. Huddy Ledbetter, better known as Lead Belly, born in Mooringsport, Louisiana, on this day in 1889. It's the birthday of the poet Edward Hirsch, Chicago, 1950, who said, When it comes to poetry, only emotion endures. The novelist and short story writer Robert Olin Butler, born Granite City, Illinois, 1945, author of a collection of stories entitled Tabloid Dreams, in which all the stories are based on actual headlines he had seen in grocery store tabloid newspapers. And it's the birthday of the novelist Susan Vreeland, born Racine, Wisconsin, 1946, who for 30 years taught English and ceramics in the public schools in San Diego. She left teaching when she was diagnosed with lymphoma, and three years later she came out with the novel Girl in Hyacinth Blue, which was a big bestseller in 1999. It's the birthday of Federico Fellini, the film director, born Rimini, Italy, 1920, best known to us as the director of the film La Dolce Vita, came out in 1960. It's the birthday of the novelist Tammy Hogue, born in Cresco, Iowa, 1959, grew up in Harmony, Minnesota, wrote her first book, Black Pony, when she was in the third grade, just nine years old. And then in her 30s, she became the author of romance novels, wrote about 20 of them, then tried her hand at a thriller. It was called Night Sins, came out in 1988, made the New York Times bestseller list, and so did the 14 books that followed. And it's the birthday of the comedian George Burns, born on the Lower East Side of New York City, 1896, born Nathan Birnbaum. His father was a cantor, a coat presser. The boy started working seven years old, selling newspapers and shining shoes, started singing harmony with other boys in a group called the Pee Wee Quartet. Soon he was on the vaudeville circuit, performing with a seal and doing trick roller skating, performed under various names, including Captain Betts, Buddy Lynx, Willie Delight, and also George Burns. He met Gracie Allen. They fell in love. They got married. They went off on the vaudeville circuit themselves. And their television show, The Burns and Allen Show, is one of the most popular shows of the 1950s. At the end of every show, George would turn to Allen and say, say goodnight, Gracie and she would say, Good night, Gracie. George Burns, famous for his cigars, four a day, went on to make the movie The Sunshine Boys with Walter Matthau, and then played God in the movie Oh God. He said, Why shouldn't I play God? Anything I do at my age is a miracle. Here's a poem for today by Alicia Susskind Ostreicher, The Blessing of the Old Woman, the Tulip, and the Dog. To be blessed, said the old woman, is to live and work so hard, God's love washes right through you like milk through a cow. To be blessed, said the dark red tulip, is to knock their eyes out with the slug of lust implied by your upended skirt. To be blessed, said the dog, is to have a pinch of God inside you, and all the other dogs can smell it. The Blessing of the Old Woman, the Tulip, and the Dog by Alicia Susskind Ostreicher from The Book of Seventy, published by University of Pittsburgh Press and used by permission here on the Writer's Almanac, funded by donations from listeners like you. Be well, do good work, and keep in touch.